hi all welcome next video so in this video we are going to see like how to create a build configuration for different releases like while we are working in real time uh, products so uh, we always require multiple uh, environments okay for the testing purpose development purpose and some release purpose some UAT purpose so based on the different uh, environments we are creating a different kind of configuration like if we have a, a local uh, environment so we are using uh, some local uh, configuration local URL, urls local services while in our other upper environments like staging and testing environment or dev environment we are using dev and staging references and urls for uat environment we are using some uat references and urls so how we are managing it and how we are creating a different build configuration for different Environment environments that we are going to see in this video <clears throat> Okay, so there could be multiple environments like uh, Local environment dev staging UAT production QA. So it all depends like how environment uh, how uh, Environments we are managing for the product. Okay, so we will be seeing the same like how we can create a different configuration for different uh, types of envi environments what is configuration manager and how uh, we can create a uh, release for the different uh, kind of environments how to staging and production environment we can create create for the git migration and how we can transform those environments in a solution okay so that all we are going to see in this video <coughs> so basically whatever the uh, build configuration we are creating we are creating through the configuration manager in Vis visual studio okay so what what the basic uh, different for this configuration is like you can see here we have a two different uh, config here debug and release so basically we cannot uh, add this config directly by right clicking on that web config and adding a file or adding a configuration we would always require to add this configuration uh, through the configuration manager so that whatever the changes we are expecting in our a release that should always be uh, getting reflected when we are creating a build or when we are uh, publishing our application okay so whenever we are adding a new build configuration through the configuration manager it always uh, inject some uh, dependency or some kind of changes in solution file as well as in cs proj file okay so while like create uh, publishing our application all those uh, dependencies like get covered or get uh, implemented based on the environments like whatever the build we are creating for the environment okay so we will be seeing that how we can create this uh, configuration and uh, uh, religious okay so this is the configuration manager in visual studio so what we will we would need to do here for creating the build configuration we would have to always select a new a new configuration and if we, we have a existing configuration we wanted to replicate in our configuration so we will be set, uh, setting it like uh, replicating it from this configuration and we will be checking it ok so after doing this the configuration bit will get created in background ok but it will not be injected in our solution so for injecting in our solution what we will have to do is we will again going to the web configuration and add config transform so like whatever the uh, transformation happened to the configuration manager so that will be uh, after doing this the all um, will get reflected here in web.config <coughs> so this kind of configuration get injected in our uh, csproj file or in our web.config file for each uh, configuration we are creating okay so it all like depends like debugging is enabled or disabled we are con including bin or like uh, we are using any other folder or what the version we are using where the error is uh, handling so all the things are getting included here okay so let's go to visual studio and see how we can create it <coughs> so for uh, this uh, for my test application test mvc i already have created so i will be firstly showing you so earlier we have only uh, debug and this uh, release okay so let's create one more I created a development already so let's create one more uh, staging one okay so go to here build configuration manager 
we have a new click on new see with development i already created but it is not uh, reflecting here because we did not added the transformation in our, our solution okay so let's create one more so we are giving staging <coughs> and we are taking it uh, from debug debug config only okay so let's add it so now this transformation is created so development and staging both are here okay so let's close it go to solution so we are not able to see both of configuration here so let's right click here and add config transform okay just do it and see here the development is also coming and staging is also coming okay so what are the basic you see the plus changes are here if you see the git you see the uh, CS project also got uh, updated. So let's see the changes. See the changes are added here for the development, and there should be uh, for uh, staging also. Okay, so these changes are added here. So that's why we cannot add this configuration manually. We always require to do it through the configuration manager only and while we are doing the automation this also gets important while we are doing the automation deployment through the git or through the jenkins okay so whatever the environment we are selecting so based on the configuration we are reading the config file if we are deploying on a development environment so we are reading development.config if we are deploying on the staging environment so we are reading the staging.config okay and while if we are doing it public, uh, pub, uh, like uh, we are publishing it and we are deploying it manually so that is also important in that case also this uh, transformation works differently like uh, rather than doing it through the just only a local uh, publishing we always uh, like get preferred to like deploy it through the development staging and release whatever the configuration we are going to use right if we are going to deploy in a staging so we always be preferring to choose a staging uh, dot config so what are the basic differences are there if we open this anyone service <clears throat> so currently it's not a big application we have only one service reference okay so you can see it's a local host it's a local reference okay but in case of development the reference will be a pointing to a development environment and in case of staging it will be a pointing to a staging environment okay so it always uh, depends on the configuration in the production it, it always be pointing to the production URL okay so this is the for single service but it could be uh, like you have you may have a, like multiple references in your solution and multiple services are pointed to your solution so all will get updated based on your build configuration version based on your environment okay <clears throat> so bc here so we did not get any more detail here we, we, because we did not update it here it's kind of default config that that got created here okay so that's all it doesn't impact in uh, solution like uh, uh, ui or any other part of the solution it only important important when we are publishing it so while publishing if you see here <coughs> see uh, configuration see country release is selected so you can change it based on your environment so currently we have development and staging so we'll be selecting a staging so whatever the differences whatever the configuration we updated in our staging.config all will get reflected here while publishing it for the malware deployment or while uh, like deploying it through the azure so all will get updated based on that okay so this is also important here so that's all that we can do here let me know in a comment if you have any issue on this and this uh, <coughs> Build configuration changes are same in web services, microservices, WCF, and MEC applications. And any other uh, .NET application we are using like .NET Core. Okay. Thank you. So that's all for this. Let me know if you have any doubt or any query. Thank you so much for the watching. See you on the next video. Thank you.